What's going on guys, it's Nurse Bass back with another video. This is the third installment of Confessions of a Student Nurse. And in this one, I wanna talk about mediocrity, okay? Um, in nursing school, you'll have people that you'll see, that you'll come across who are content with mediocrity. They're content with just meeting the bare minimum standards necessary in order to pass. You know, um, studying just enough to just skate by. I, I, and I can't really wrap my head around this idea of mediocrity, you know, just being complacent with it. And um, my suggestion to you and the purpose behind making this little video is to give you the advice to not be that person. If you are not yet in nursing school um, and you're going into it, don't be complacent with mediocrity. Don't settle you know, always strive to be better. Strive to study harder. If you made a B on your uh, first exam, strive to get an A on the second one. You know, don't be like, I got a B. That's cool. And I can just put in this little amount of effort into my studies so I can enjoy some free time and I'll take this test and I'll pass, you know, and I'll just skate on through nursing school. Don't do that, okay? Because first of all, you're putting yourself in a bad position, okay? I've known a few people in my program who have done this and, you know, there's a thing called benchmark in nursing school and it's basically the minimum requirement grade that you have to meet at the end of uh, the semester in order to pass. And we had some people who were content with mediocrity and there at the very end, they almost failed out of the nursing program because they barely skated by the entire semester. And when it came to the final exam, the final exam was going to make or break them in nursing school. You don't want to go through the entire semester, put in all the hours of, um, you know, clinicals and everything, because nursing school is very demanding time wise and all of the money just to fail at the very end because you didn't want to put in the proper amount of time necessary to not be mediocre, you know, to thrive. Don't just survive nursing school, thrive. And let me also say, not only are you putting yourself, you know, in jeopardy of failing because of this, but also teachers notice, okay? Teachers notice the ones who are just happy with just skating by, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty apparent to these people that the ones who are very diligent and very, um, you know, consumed with just becoming a nurse, they want to learn everything they can. And so they put in a lot of effort and a lot of time. They're the ones who you see in the libraries very often nose buried in the books, you know, in the, um, simulation lab and uh you know practicing on the mannequins practicing your nursing skills and then they'll see the ones the faces that aren't there the ones who are barely making these passing grades on the exams a lot of times these people who are content with mediocrity are failing you know and that's another road that you definitely don't want to go down so yeah guys that's my two cents on the topic i just wanted to throw that out there a little confession of a student nurse talking about mediocrity i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you can take something from it and be sure to like and comment down below i'll catch you on the next video y'all it's nurse bass soon to be peace